Hey guys, welcome back to Troy's Garage. Today's video is just gonna be a real quick one. Oxido sent me a couple of different bulbs for our Toyota Corollas uh, for me to try out, kind of give a demonstration. So full disclosure, they sent me those for free. Uh, I am an affiliate with them as well. So, you know, you have the option to use the links down below. In almost every video, I've got the link to them. They have an auto configurator. You can put your vehicle information in there. It'll narrow the bulbs down to just the vehicle or just the bulbs specific for your vehicle, if I said that correctly. Brain's a little scattered today. But anyway, today we're gonna be swapping out the headlights and the reverse lights on my daughter's Toyota Corolla. So this just happens to be a 2000 Seven? I can't remember if this is the seven or the eight. Anyway, it's either a 2007 or a 2008 Toyota Corolla. The models are the same, the part numbers are the same, all those things. So uh, we're just going to do a little quick before and after how bright they were, how bright they are after the swap. We'll do the headlights next. So we're going to start with the reverse lights right now. Let's crack this open and get started. So reverse lights in the Toyota Corolla during this model year, it's like 2003 through 2009, I believe. If that's incorrect, I'll put the right one on the screen for you to see. But basically, pop the trunk like so. And there's these little access panels. That's how easy they come off. I just pried them with my fingers. They popped right off. I've already taken the other one off. Obviously, the bulbs that you're looking for are right underneath that. You're looking for there. And then they just twist off exposing the bulb and the bulb pulls out that easily. So let's get the new ones put in and we'll check out how bright they are compared to what they used to look like. I'm so confident, I'm already going to put those back on. Just like that, let's, uh, I'm not going to start the car because we're in a closed garage, but I'll turn the key on, put it in reverse, and we'll check this out. Woo, okay, yep, those are quite a bit brighter. Don't know if that'll show on camera very good, but let's get a close up. These are the reverse lights before, after the swap. Yeah, those are a lot brighter. That's going to be cool. So that's the reverse lights. Let's get the car flipped around, pulled back in so that the front end is this way. It's a lot easier to work on things with the workbench right here. Quick swap, we'll do the headlights. So swapping the headlight bulbs in one of these uh, cars is not quite as easy. You do have to pull the battery out of the driver's side in order to get to the back side of that bulb. So it's a little bit more challenging, but I believe in you. You can do it. I'm going to get started, and then we'll show the before and after as well. There's the old bulb out. It's just the standard halogen bulb. Let's open the new ones. Make sure we have the same profile and whatnot. We'll get them back in. On these, you want to be careful not to touch the actual lenses on those. Uh, the oils from your fingers will get on there, creates hot spots, and they, they burst, essentially. So burning out these bulbs is fairly easy to do. I pull them out, put them in Ziploc bags, and save them if I know they're still good, just in case we need more. That is a pro tip. You're welcome. Moment of truth. These are a 9006. Let's see, plugs are they're identical. So this should this should be fine. It'll be fine. 
What do we find, they said? I need light. And I need my glasses. What do I do with my glasses? Here they are. Everything's fine. Oh, that is not in all the slots. There we go. Yep. Hey, I think I can get to this one without taking the battery out. On my son's car, we had to take the battery out. Twist that the right direction, it comes out. And I touched that bulb. Dang it. Yep, I touched that bulb, so I'm gonna mark that one as having been touched when I put it in a bag. Just in case. Alright, driver's side. You want to always check and make sure that you get all three of the tabs. If that'll show up. There's three tabs on this thing. And you want to make sure that all three of those tabs are seated underneath the clamp when you twist it in. Hope that makes sense. You'll know if you try it and get it wrong because you'll be able to see daylight through there. And you need to make sure that the little gasket around there is sealing properly. Let's turn these on see if it worked. Before, after the swap. Much brighter. But there you have it, a quick and easy, fairly inexpensive upgrade for your car. Get those lights shining super bright, be able to see at night, and be safer on the road. That's not a bad thing. I'd like to thank Oxido for not necessarily sponsoring this video, but allowing me the opportunity to try their products. They've always been good. I've bought them before uh, and used them. This is the first time that they've reached out to me to offer me something in return, which is fine. It's great. Love it. Thank you for that. Please check those links down below. If you feel like I've earned it, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, please share with your friends and hit that subscribe button. That does some magical things and you'll see new stuff from me all the time. Working on some really cool projects. Uh, just check out the channel. If it's something that you're into, I would appreciate following along. Comment, share, like, all the things. Really appreciate it, it helps me out. Love you guys. See you guys in the next video.